Today's lesson is all going to be about um, things on the point of tipping. So we've got a setup here, it's like a seesaw. Um, it's going to be a uniform plank for this one. And we've got someone holding up this end, they're, they're supporting it. On the other end, there is some sort of um, box here and the, the goal is to work out the mass of this box. Now, given the distances of two meters and one meter, and the important bit here is it's on the point of tipping. So it's just about to go that way. It's like if this mass had any more mass in it, it would start to fall down. And so the whole thing would tip that way. Now the important point here is if this is about to tip, then the amount that this person is having to hold up will get to zero. So imagine we increase this mass here, then the whole thing would tip and this person would no longer be supporting up. And so we can treat the force as zero. That's going to be the case of, with all of the questions that we do today. It's like this person doesn't really matter. If they were not holding it up at all, it would still be just in balance here. Now we know what the mass of the plank is. We know that it's five kilograms. If we times that by 9.8, five times 9.8 equals 49. That's 49 newtons. And because it's a uniform plank, it would be coming down here in the center of mass. So that's 49 newtons. And we know that it's a distance here of 1.5 from this end. Okay, well, let's take moments around the pivot point here. The total moment going around that way would be 0 0.5 meters times 49. If I do 0 0.5 times 49, so I divide by two, I get 24.5. So we've got 24.5 Newton meters going around that way. Going around this way would be one meter times whatever the, well, the weight of this box is. Well, let's call it mass M. The weight here would be mg, so m times 9.8. And timesing that by the one to get the moment, we know that the total moment would be mg, Newton meters, going around that way. But because it's on the point of tipping, these things must be equal to each other. And so we get 24.5 equals mg, and so m equals 24.5 divided by g. So divided by 9.8, I get 2.5. And that's the mass in kilograms of that box, okay? So in each of these problems, if it's on the point of tipping, it will no longer have one of the forces here. Now I'm gonna give you a question, uh, I'll set it up for you and then I'll get you to pause the video once you've heard the explanation. So we've got a plank here, it's on two um, things holding up, so point A and point B. It's a non-uniform plank in this case, so I'll just focus. Um, it's non-uniform plank, and the goal here is to work out where the center of mass is from the left-hand side, so where is it? It's gonna be somewhere in this region here. Now I've given you a box. Instead of giving you the mass, I've given you the weight, so it's three newtons pointing down this way. I've given you a whole lot of distances along the top, and this whole plank, is on the point of tipping around point A. So it's on the point of going like that. Your goal is to work out the distance from the left-hand side or where, of where the center of mass is. Right, pause the video, have a go. Okay, so if it's on the point of tipping, this point B here doesn't really matter. There's not gonna be a reaction force up there. Total moment going around this way would be two times three, which is six Newton meters going around that way. Total moment going here, well let's say that, uh, let's do the distance here, I'm gonna call that x. Um, we know what the weight of the plank is, it's 10 newtons, so the total moment here would be 10 x newton meters, and that's going around that way. But they must be balanced. And so 10 x equals six, and so x equals six over 10 or 0 0.6 meters. Now we're not quite done yet because we wanted the distance from the left-hand side, but if we know that that's two meters, and we know that that's 0 0.6, then this distance here would be 1.4 meters and we're done. So the important thing here was because it's just on the point of tipping, that this is no longer supplying any force up to it. And you can think of it a bit like it's an equilibrium. If we'd put a single bit of extra force going down here, like an extra weight on it, then it would have tipped. But because it's just on the point of tipping, it's like just in equilibrium, it's not quite going.
Right, all of the questions in the exercise, is the exercise, the one after the one you were doing, um, have this sort of setup. They're mostly seesaws. Careful of whether it's uniform or non-uniform, because they're giving you a mixture of both.